Let me tell you, when you look for a president, you want somebody who is right on the issues, somebody who has good instincts, somebody who wants to understand these incredibly complicated problems and who can understand, and somebody with a good supporting cast. Because you can't get there alone. When you were president, you got to have lots of help. And believe me, the next president needs our help, all of us, all hands on deck. You can't stop at the election. You've got to say, send me if you want me to. Senator Obama, one of the things I like about his college aid plan is he wants people who get it to do community service. And that's what I believe in. That's what my life is now. It's a good thing to do. Send me. And if you heard in the second debate, I personally believe that the most significant difference manifested between the candidates in that second debate was health care. And, you know, when I, I listened to his opponent talk, he really seemed like he meant well, but when Barack Obama talked, I said, this guy actually understands the problem. He understands health care, and he's got a proposal that will actually help Americans get coverage, keep coverage, and break the back of this cost spiral. We cannot keep spotting all of our competitors $800 billion a year in health care costs that does nothing to make us well and help our children have a better future and make us more competitive. So that's my case, pure and simple, on all that. He's got the best plan on the finances, the best plan on energy, the best plan on education, the best plan on health care. He has shown that he can make a presidential decision, that he wants to understand, can understand, has the best ideas, the best instincts, and the best supporting cast. And all of that really matters. He also will help us to restore our position in the world because he understands the limits of military force and that it should be used as a last resort, not a first option. So I will say again, we got a big chance here. And there is a chance that it's, you really need to focus on this because we have a chance to redraw the political map of America, a chance that I didn't have in 1992 for a simple reason. People turned to me because I looked like I was halfway aware of what was going on and the country was in the ditch. But they thought that it was simply the fault of my predecessor and his advisors rather than the necessary result of the ideas they had been advocating. Why is that? Because, and why can Barack Obama do better now? Because in the last six of the last eight years, for the first time in 30 years, we now know what happens when they can actually do everything they promised to do because they had the White House and the Congress. So we know this is not about good people and bad people. This is about good ideas and bad ideas being off on the wrong course with consequences that will not work. It has come time to do the right thing. Virginia will do the right thing if you do your part. America will do the right thing if you do your part. And the children and grandchildren of this country and the hopes of the world are riding on what you do for the next 23 days. This is not just about winning an election. It's about changing the course of a country. The American people know now we have to change. Bring it home. God bless you. Thank you.